Right now at 11 o'clock, police fire their weapons in Trenton, New Jersey tonight, sending one person to the hospital and two others running. Good evening, everyone. I'm Natasha Brown. Thank you so much for joining us. Police say two officers fired after the suspect reached for a gun in his waistband and turned to face police. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Nieves is in Trenton tonight with what we know so far about this incident. Alicia. Well, Natasha, we know the Mercer County Homicide Task Force is out here investigating this officer involved shooting. You can see authorities still out here now, and they have been here for hours. Now, because the Homicide Task Force is investigating this, that does not mean the man shot has succumbed to his injuries. We are told that unit is assigned to this investigation per Attorney General guidelines. Authorities in New Jersey investigating an officer involved shooting after around 515 this evening. Trenton Street Crimes Unit stopped a group of men along Pennington Avenue near Calhoun Street. Authorities say while conducting their investigation with these men, it was discovered that one of them was armed with a handgun in his waistband. When police made that discovery, they say the man pulled away from detectives and started running. Then moments later, he reached for the gun from his waistband as he turned his body towards the detectives. Two and officers discharged their firearms and the man was struck. The man running and shot by police collapsed in the back of a home along Pennington Avenue. Authorities were able to recover a handgun in a nearby yard and say no officers were injured during this event, but that in the chaos of things, the other men who police had stopped, they were able to flee the scene. And we're told the man shot by police here was transported to Capitol Health Regional Medical Center, where he is currently being treated for his injuries. Authorities are not releasing that man's name nor his condition at the time. For now, reporting live in Trenton, Alicia Nieves, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. 